Good morning, my dear friends. It is once again my joy to be with you on this wonderful new day. The Lord in His mercy has given us another day to enjoy His presence, His love, His provision, and also to be filled with the Holy Spirit and be used of Him to bless someone else in our life, through our lives. And today's meditation is taken from the book of Romans, chapter 12, verses 1 to 5. And let me read this passage for you. The title of this meditation shall be Life in God's Service. And this passage says, Therefore I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God. This is your spiritual act of worship. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of our mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. For by the grace given me, I say to every one of you, do not think yourself more highly than you ought to, but rather think of yourself with sober judgment. In accordance with the measure of faith God has given you, just as each of us has one body with many members, and these members do not all have the same function, so in Christ, we who are many form one body, and each member belongs to all the others. And this is a beautiful passage showing how we work together for the glory of God. Life in God's service. What kind of life we must live to please God? The life we live must be approved of God. And we believers must possess a single-minded passion to please God in love, devotion, holiness, and obedience. With that passion, one must offer his body for his service and his service alone. Number one thing we must notice and learn from this passage is what is required for such a service? Consecration. Consecration is the first thing that is required in Christian service. And consecration means set apart for one special particular purpose. Now, in, Christ, in, in Christian service, we cannot have a double life. In the Old Testament, temple worship, even the smallest instrument used should be consecrated and anointed. Once anointed, it was never be used for any other purpose than designated. No other hands be used than the priests who are anointed and consecrated with the uh, anointing oil. Now, Paul was aware of animal uh, sacrifices uh, in the temple worship. And now Paul says, Offer yourselves as living sacrifices. Now, it means our greatest desire should be to live lives of holiness and be approved and accepted by God who is holy. Now, the second thing that is required for such a service for God 
is separation. Now, the scripture verse we read says, do not conform to this world. And that means to do nothing that will dishonor God. And always seek the honor of God. And we must set that one purpose ahead of any other reason for our life. Now this requires separation. And separating ourselves from the world and drawing ever nearer to God who is holy. Verse 2. Now how do we do this? We do this by renewal of our mind. We must live for him, worship him, obey him, and be on his side against sin and for righteousness. Hate and resist evil. Follow Christ. Imitate him. Serve him. Be filled with the Holy Spirit and be faithful and live by the Spirit and walk with the Lord in the Spirit. And offer our bodies to God as dead to sin and consider your bodies as the temple of the Holy Spirit. And that is what your body is. That is why your body is important in the service of God. And the third thing that is required to serve the Lord in an acceptable manner is, all these actions require humility. Now verse 3 says, we must realize that the present world system is evil and controlled by evil. And that is why John in his epistle said, Do not love the world. And because the present world system, that, now that does not mean the natural world which is so beautiful that God has created for us. It means the world system of living. And that system is built by human being with the evil purpose. And it is all controlled by evil thoughts and imagination. And uh, the, 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 the main characteristic of today's culture is what? Self. Selfishness is very visible. It's all about me. Read 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 to 5. And you know, to put others ahead of us or ahead of me is very difficult. We need a rebirth. As we are, we are devoted only to ourselves. I am. That is always better than others. In God's kingdom, it is service with humility. And that means we consider others better than ourselves. And we must stand against the prevailing and popular forms of the spirit of this world. And we must have our minds conformed to God's way of thinking by reading and meditating on God's word. And that is why the word of God is absolutely important to live a life that is pleasing to God and then serving him. Because the word of God tells us what and who our God is. And everything we do must glorify him and please him. And the fourth thing that we learn from this passage is verses 4 and 5 talks about service with unity. And my friends, therefore, you understand what I am meaning. You know, what is required, required in the service of God is, is, a, is a, a consecration, and that is separation. 
and secondly we need a separation and thirdly all these actions require humility and fourthly the verses 4 and 5 talks about service with unity like our body now body is one but body is with many parts and let me tell you a story to make my point clear the nose had a fight with the eyes and uh, the nose said to the eyes, See, you are a burden for me. Don't you know I have enough work to do myself? And I have to carry you all the days. From now on, I refuse to help you. And carry you around. And the next day, the body went out for a walk. And the eyes could not see. And there was a pillar on the way. And the nose landed there first. What was the problem? The nose refused to carry the eyes along. And so the eyes could not see. And who got hurt? Not the eyes. Eyes was protected, but the nose got hurt. And that is a good example to impress on us how important it is for us as the body of Christ. Christ has only one body, but with many parts. I am, a, I am in it, and you are in it. And the saints all over the world, they all are parts of the body of Christ. I know that for this body of Christ, for example in India or elsewhere, any other country, to function efficiently, properly and effectively, every member has to cooperate and work with the other members. And every member must say, you are important, you are important, you are important, and nobody is unimportant. And that is why unity is so important. So serve the Lord. Serve the Lord with, with consecration. Serve the Lord with separation. Serve the Lord with, uh, uh, with the humility. And serve the Lord with unity. And let us see how much glory it will bring to our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ when we serve him in this way. And that is what this passage tells us. Brethren, present your bodies as a living sacrifice unto God. And let us not forget that when the word of God tells us that is the only truth that we must accept and follow. And so, may you be filled with the Holy Spirit to serve God with unity and humility and with the deep consecration. And I pray that today your life will be example for the world to see how and why it is important that we work in these, with these characters, characteristics. And let us not forget that who is blessed and exalted and glorified, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And let us not fight with one another, but let us cooperate with one another. Consider others better than ourselves. And may the Lord bless you and give you a joyful and a happy day of serving God and glorifying Him. His grace is there. His Holy Spirit, He is there. And so we praise the Lord for this opportunity. Lord, we thank you for this day. And may our lives show to the world that you alone are worthy to be praised and glorified. Use us. In Jesus' name, amen.
my friends this is another beautiful day ahead of you with this meditation with this word in your heart go forth and have a great day of living for him amen